Yes, you read that title right. YouTube is now trying to currently shut me down for some shit I did two years ago that doesn't even violate the TOS. So I figured, you know, if they're going to sit here and punish me for some shit I didn't even do, then I might as well make a video and give them something to actually be pissed about. So with all that said, before we even begin, if I get one more strike, if they decide to go back two years ago and find something that doesn't violate TOS just to shut me down for a week, well, you're not going to get any more videos on this YouTube channel. So what I need to do right now, if you like this channel, if you want to see these videos and don't miss out on anything whatsoever, head on over to the slasherclub.com, sign up right now because if anything happens to this channel at any point, everything will be uploaded over there. Yes, that's right. I want to make sure that you guys have the outlet to see the videos and this way I'm not, you know, leaving you guys in the dark because if they shut it down, I can't access it to tell you anything. I can't upload anything. I can't do anything. But if you're a member of the slasherclub.com, I can upload videos, all the new information and news and all the stuff I do here, the skits, everything will be over there if anything happens here. And if somehow I get the channel back, I'm not going to re-upload everything. So it'll just be over there permanently. That's just the way it is. And as far as live streams are concerned, if anything happens with YouTube, if you guys have a Twitch or Mixer, I will dual stream to those two platforms. I know with Twitch, I'm not a girl that shows cleavage, so I can't be very successful on Twitch. But for those of you that want to watch the live streams of me and not big jugs bouncing around, there's your outlet, if anything happens. Now with all that said, let's start talking about why they're coming after me. Why they go after people like Steven Crowder and all these other people who won't push their unwoken, woke narrative that they want pushed on YouTube. And yes, I am going to show video and evidence to back up everything I'm about to say. So for those of you that live in a precious bubble that don't want to see the real world, just leave me. <laughs> that's the time to go because I'm going to show you evidence that's going to burst your fucking bubble. I don't want to be those assholes, man. I want to create a place that's fucking kick ass. I want to create a place where I can make fucking skits and short films that I can show anything I want. I can do anything I fucking want. Where we have a group of people that are friends and a group of people that like if you bump into each other in the real world, you're going to say hi to each other, right? And you're going to come together based on your love of fucking horror, okay? You're going to have a fucking place where, you know, we can watch movies together, old fucking movies, and not have to worry about fucking trolls coming in, right? Because trolls are not going to pay five bucks a month to come in. They're not going to do it. We can weave these fucking assholes out. We can create a world of our own, man. We don't need these fucks. But what we do need is... We need to get it out there. We need to get the name out there and push the platform. If we can push it and get enough people to back it, then we can build on it and make it like the horror of YouTube for everybody, you know, without the trolls. <laughs> I'm being biased against trolls. But those assholes are in a boat all by themselves. They're worse than the unwoke and woke. You know, they just hate you to hate you because they're bored with their life. Other people, at least they, no matter how stupid their fucking point of view is or how illogical it is, at least they believe it. All right, these other people don't. That's why they're trolls. But if we can push that, <clears throat> I think what else I might do is maybe do a GoFundMe or Kickstarter. So anything you guys want to donate, and I'll put 100% of that fucking money into the slasherclub.com, into everything about it, the design of it, everything, the, the promoting it, all that shit. I'll put the link down in the description below. I, 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 don't, I don't think Kickstarter would be the right fit for something like that. Probably be a GoFundMe. Again, 100% of it will go back into it. Your names... I'll put it on a, uh, somewhere on the slasherclub.com so everybody knows you contributed if you want or just put it anonymous. It doesn't matter. But man, I can't sit back and just like these people. I just feel like I'm in a safe place, a gun-free zone, sitting there unarmed waiting to get shot. It's just fucking retarded. This is all stupid. I know at this point I'm just rambling on because I'm just so fed up with it. I'm, I'm sick of having to fucking getting penalized or having to fucking stress over a channel getting shut down for shit I didn't even do. If I did it, now, if I did it, that's fine. That's one thing. Because I feel like I, I can account for that. I don't need fake oppression or anything to cover up something. If I actually did something that violated, right, or they would at least explain to me what I violated, which they won't do because it's not in violation, then I can at least own up to it and be like, okay, I fucked up. That's a rule I didn't know about. I'm not going to do it again. Fuck it. Right? I can at least own up to it. No, no, no. That's not what's happening <laughs> There's nothing to own up to because there's nothing against the TOS about a non-offensive prank. Literally, there's nothing. They have no fucking rebuttal for it either. But, you know, with all that said, I have skits I've been working on and it sucks that I have to wake up to that. And instead of filming 
this three, four episode short film I was working on for the channel because you guys want more things like the Blair Witch Project video. That right there. I can't. I have to put it on hold and I have to do this because if I focus on that and I get flagged, you guys don't know and you'll never see it. So I have to make a video telling you where to go to where you can see it if something happens to the channel. I don't know, man. I also think if there's enough people at the slasherclub.com, we can start doing like meet and greets for everybody and shit. That'd be kind of cool, but that's all up to you guys. And if you uh, join and if we get enough people and enough people promoting it, enough people bringing people in and sharing it and we make this big enough to where we can do shit like that would be awesome. And we would do that maybe in October because Halloween, that'd be the best time. But I don't know, man, just can't do anything anymore. I have to take time out of other videos just to tell you guys. So if something happens, you know where you can see the videos. And I'm looking away from the camera for the first time because I'm just so dumbfounded by this shit. Like just cause I don't believe what you fucking want me to believe or push what you want me to push, I have to get penalized for it. And now I have to make stupid shit like this. Yeah, I'm calling my own video stupid because I don't wanna make this video. They just get pushed me to the fucking point where I just wanna say, fuck you, YouTube. And I'll see you next time.